Boxing King Media in association with BoxRaw. Dan Aziz, I've got to get your reaction immediately to Rocky Fielding not making the weight and apparently he's choosing to not boil down, not, he's choosing not to lose that one pound. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I, don't, I actually don't care. <laughs> I'm not fast. Um, he probably might have struggled to make what he made and thought, hey, I'm not going anymore. We're in a dangerous sport as it is, man. I, I wouldn't want him to kill himself. He probably wants to come in as strong as he can. So, yeah, it is what it is, man. I just focus on what I can control and leave the rest to Allah. Does it surprise you, the fact that he, uh, obviously, is coming up from super middleweight, people would have expected him to do it quite comfortably? No, nah, not at all, man. He hasn't booked at super middle for how long? He's older. The older you get, the harder it is to lose the weight, especially if you're not active in your career. Um, yeah, it didn't surprise me. Look how he's big, you know. <laughs> look, look how big he is, like, do you know what I mean? So, nah, man, it didn't surprise me. I actually thought last night, I was like, I wonder if he'll make the weight, like, like randomly. And then it's funny that we went up there and, yeah, he didn't make it. But I'm not fussed, man. Either way, it's another big name on your resume that you're fighting. Obviously, your like your recent run of fights, you're fighting guys with winning records, recognised na names in British boxing. Yeah. It must say there's a lot about you because you've kind of done it the hard way. And we spoke about this in a previous yeah. interview from like literally area level to like you know European British level now. Yeah, no, I was talking to um, Matthew Macklin just over there, and he was saying, yeah, Dan, you know, you you you're you're up for it. Like you go for the 50-50s and. That, that's the honest truth. See, my last fight, Shakan, that's a 50-50. No matter how, what the scorecard, scorecard said, whether I knocked him out, whether he knocked me out, that's a 50-50. Jose Burt, it's a 50-50. Like, that's what I'm in the game to, 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 to do. Like, it, if you want to say you're the best and you can't beat people who are... You, you can't beat people who people are saying are better than you or they think they're the best, then what's the point? That's not what I'm in it for. Like, I could go in there tomorrow, Rocky do a madness. We're not putting that into the air, but do you know what I mean? It is what it is, man. Like, people want to see people in good fights. You know, Rocky's experience, he's a name. Let's get in there and do the business, man. If I can beat him, I can beat him. If I can't, it is what it is, man. Looking at your styles, your style and his style, it's quite obvious this fight. You both are going to clash in the middle. It's probably going to be an entertaining fight. Is that what you're expecting? Yeah, exactly that. Um, he likes to let his hands go. He's, he can punch. Um, he's boxed at a high level. And yeah, I don't shy away. Do you know what I mean? I heard um, one of his trainer the other day saying, yeah, Dan's there to be hit, like, and da-da-da-da-da. And it's true, I am. I can get hit. That's the... You, buddy says it all the time, you can't swim without getting wet. Do you know what I mean? And I embrace that water. Do you know what I mean? So let's see if he can catch me. Then he does. But when I catch him, can he, can he keep up with the pace and whatnot? We'll see. I'm looking forward to it. And just the last question, uh, is this your second defence? Just to remind me, because I'm guessing yeah, you're looking to win it. Second, this is the second one. So, the aim is to win it outright? Uh, not necessarily. If there's good opponents for me to fight, then yeah. But if there's not credible opponents, I'm not interested. I'm not going to go and just, just to win the British title outright, go and fight some guy that everyone knows I'm going to just bowl over and it doesn't make no sense. Like, no, I'm not doing that. It'd be crazy not to, because if you win this, it's only one more fight. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Like, listen, I'm in it for... I didn't do it to, like, f do boxing for the clout. It's my legacy. I like to leave... I want years down the line people to at least look at me and be like, oh, yeah, that Dan Aziz fighter, he was all right. Because I do it. I look back 100 years ago and 80 years ago, 50, 60, I say, oh, that fighter, well, like, I at least want someone down the line to be like, Dan Aziz, he fought a good couple guys and whatnot. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. You're only technically still kind of in the middle of your career and yeah. you've, you've already done it quite a bit. So you're a good guy, mate. I wish you all the best and uh, all the best Saturday night. I appreciate it, man. Big yourselves up. Big up Boxing King. I really appreciate it. Thank you.